Hello everyone, this is Fantastic Worlds, welcome you back to Lovecraft Country and Cultist Simulator, the Lantern Aspirant Run. And yes, I'm starting at the main screen here because I want you to observe something over here on, you can see it make it glow right here, on the middle right. Yes, we now have a drop date for Cultist Simulator's sequel, The Book of Hours, in which you play a librarian in a cult library, which I'm pretty sure is going to be interesting considering the that we're essentially just a guy sitting in a desk ordering means around here but yeah it drops in july 2023 i'm gonna say you probably you'll probably get to it anyways let's continue all right then now here's the thing where our current situation is that we're kind of in a rut at the moment. Now, at the moment, we are currently stuck in our dead-end job at work Glover and Glover. Now, of course, this means that we're always running on the edge of poverty because sometimes it can take 90 seconds for there to be a two funds, which means we're barely going to get ahead of the curve just for our because we require one fund every 60 seconds. Now, at this, however, I, we are not stuck in the endless grind of capitalism that most of us in real life are but instead we are going to take this the way that if i'm pronouncing it rightly from the person in the comments it says shiv shave shiv shiv but long e would be shiv yeah we'll go with shiv i think it kind of sounds like kind of like a shiv of wheat there anyways a shiv palpatine would do and we're going to be cunning ruthless and you know, complete bastard about this. So, how are we going to do that? Well, what we're thinking about here is we're going to be tackling this from several different angles. First of all, the tentative evidence will be disappearing in just over, let's see, quick calculation here, five, five, six minutes. So, in six minutes, we'll be able to get rid of that. It would be a little more dangerous. I don't want to get another notoriety, but until then, we will be quite, quietly assembling our acquaintances. As you notice, we still we have all of our lantern people, which, you know, okay, cool, that's great. And we're not quite, however, able to get our two forge people and then whoever the heck this is to level five yet. Now, notice also she's wounded, so she has the aspect two of winter. That could come in handy. It could just be there. Now, one of the things that's keeping us behind, by the way, is the fact that we didn't get the congregation of St. Felix done properly. Now, the reason is that is that it has a translation book for Greek, and if we were able to translate that, we'd have the centipede and get that one knocked out. Now, the Latin one is going to be a level four vault, which we haven't got access to. In addition, we can get the right person. We can get the tackle the lake and get the serpent out of there too. Now, all of this, of course, is assuming that anything goes to plan because as so far, we haven't had anything come actually to plan. So yeah, this is actually what I kind of like in the game sometimes is that if, when it pushes you to the limit if you had everything going right it'd be boring but you know we don't want to be boring by having to go wrong either so in the meantime like i said now of course we have the bookstore active but we're not using it but i might do an alternate path now if we are going to concentrate on getting our books from the vaults we don't need to actually empty out the bookstore until the very end and we can actually go through the auction house to get a lot of the same books but why would we do that because obviously we can spend more money doing that to one for Moreland, but a random draw, but every time Auction House rolls around, I'll know what I'm bidding on, and I can decide whether I want it or not. For example, as soon as I can get this, the um, or any other Lantern Floor out combined with the moon Noonstone at four Lantern, I can get all of my peeps here to level five, and I can start sending them out more regularly on the vaults. So, again, we're going to slowly but surely build ourselves up. All the while, our Jedi investigator here is going to be munching on the mystique. Now, remember, if I put out enough mystique, he will burn through all the mystique, cycle after cycle, every, every 60 seconds, until the ton of evidence goes away, and I could be more ruthless. But, in the meantime, let's set our plans in motion. Now, of course, as per usual, we will be diving into the woods to gain additional scraps. Oh, we're about to get another dread there, too, which is great. All right, cool, go. Do, 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 do. Can't paint that one away. So, we have the option here of what we're going to do about the restlessness. Now, if I paint it, obviously, I'm going to have the same problems. I can't have enough uh, with the losing our job. I'm going to fund here. So, basically, we're going to be spending one fund, whatever extra fund we happen to create, and have getting drunk and doing everything. This is, of course, oh, God, we're going to have two in a row. That's just great. Okay, so he's got the tentative evidence. He doesn't have any notoriety, so he's just going to give us back the tentative evidence. Oh my god, I'm about to sneeze. Hang on. 
Uh, I'm trying to do less pausing this time around to see if it'll but at a slower speed. So, okay. So, whoops. Well, since I got three things happening at once. Okay, we got our two funds. So that's going to give us a little bit of a cushion. Now, it's a bit much to try to do the painting here with it because that's going to take a full 60 seconds. It'll knock us out of the Glover and Glover position. Uh, it's not going to work, unfortunately. But another possibility, of course, is just to keep ourselves well liquored. So, in the meantime, we can take those three funds. And we can try to grab a random book from Moreland. Now, like I said, we can use the auction house, but if we don't have enough of a fun base and I don't want to sell the flute for three to pay for it, we may want to just consider the random one because it's a good chance we're going to get another two points of lantern lore. It's like the second most common lore you get from the bookstore. So in the meantime, let's keep our let's keep paying for our hobbies. Grab more in the store and do our the usual. We might get lucky. It might not. And we're setting forward. Ugh, gods. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of dread, so we're not gonna be dreaming anytime soon, unfortunately. And pause. Let's see what we got. Ah, this is actually gonna make it a lot easier. Once we get her up to... T once we get her initiated... That Mystique, now in play. Put the Mystique up here to put it in play. Once we get her initiated using our lore here, she has a 30% chance of being able to seduce... Mr. Alden, so he doesn't quit in this cycle around. That, however, will allow us to be able to take care of the restlessness of the next restlessness that's coming to make sure we don't have, yep, no dread coming, no dread trap coming. So, and thus we'll be able to have what we need for the next cycle. All right, so, yep, it's called scrap. That will allow us, of course, to be able to combine those two if we have to do an air addition. Okay, so, the easiest way to do that, of course, is simply to study reason, which is what we'll do since we're not doing much else to the reason card or the study verb at this time. And he goes away disappointed, but the evidence is still in play, which of course means that okay, we still have to pretend to be nice, you know, keep our feeling respectable, of course, nature to be portrayed for our political aspirations. We're not going to be a simple clerk for the rest of our lives. We have, you know, total dominance of the world to, uh, and of the British Empire to consider. Okay, so, meanwhile... Oh, yeah. 40, so, yeah, we're actually... Yeah, we can't... Oh, gods, we have to risk the dread burning out normally because we burn, spent on the books. Because I will do that. I will spend, the, in the real world, book, more on books than I will on partying. Well, of course, you can't be a Sith Master and completely give yourself over to um, license. I mean, it's the dark side will destroy those of a weak will. All right, so the Dread is in play, and so is the Restlessness. And that means that hopefully I'm not having a Dread Trap coming up next, because that would be bad. All right, so let's see what we've got. Collection of Essays. Well, this will be good for when we decide to up our reason. But meantime, what the heck? It's there. So, yeah. I mean, it is, we are going to need it when we get two points of uh, winter lore. Okay, so. Alright. Do, 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 boom. Alright, so. She is now level two Grail. 30% chance of success if I do the seduction route in Mr. Alden once we get the card back, which is what I will be doing, which is why I will not be activating talk for her at the moment. Now, once I do that, the Glover card will not run out. Since it's in play, the timer stays you know, the timer stays where it is. In other words, it freezes in place, which means I do not go get closer to losing that job. Now, once it, of course, pops open... Of course. Just when I don't need it. Alright, so... We will obviously... It's see, no Dread Trap coming yet. Good. I mean, we may just have to live with the Dread for now. We'll be doing an infinite amount of Dread, but as long as the Dread Trap doesn't pop up... Now we have the air addition. Good. So, we'll take this, put it here, and keep the air addition ready for when we need it. So to combine the two to level four and get a level four volt. In the meantime, let's get Mr. Alden under our thumb, shall we? As we now have our temptress. Bring him to ruin. Liar and mastery of it is the path to the dark side. Or the light side this time around. Actually, it's the opposite. Okay. Acceptable behavior. So, what we need to do now is this. First of all, we take Alden. We stick him. We take Renata here. 
Renara, sorry. Renata is actually a character in a, in a role-playing game. One of my player's characters that I um have a love-hate relationship with. I had one. Okay, who's a succeed annoyance may not find my minion appealing at all. But, like I said before, we will not be risking a notoriety card. At least, I hope I'm not risking a notoriety card, because this could get nasty if it doth. We could... We'll get, we'll get, figure it out. Anyways, in the meantime, we still need to produce health. I mean, right, wealth, and we can do that by spending our health for every 45 seconds. We'll produce another fund in the meantime, just in case. Let's get a, let's get a happy thought going, just in case. Last thing we need is a dread trap killing us this early in the game. So let's see. All right. So yeah, at this point, since we've got most of our cylinders firing, let's fast forward. And we'll see if it all works or not. Anyways. Alright. And we got a glimmering out of it, which is nice, but I'll probably point to it. Take this dread with the most time left onto it and neutralize that. And boom, we should be fine. Okay, the dread trap. We got, oh, that's no dread trap. We have to get rid of this within 56 seconds. And that may not be possible, as you notice the dread will continue. So we may have to get another contentment and have to... Um, Spend another fund for that, which is, of course, no fun, but, you know, we're going to be able to barely keep ahead of it using manual labor. All right, so the addition goes together in the challenge knowledge. Since we don't have the library yet. Boom. Get a vitality and a fatigued health. All right, just keep it up as best we can. We can actually slowly start to approach the point where we'd be able to get him level four um, strength. Not a huge consideration, but hey, we need to... If we've got the opportunity, we might as well use it. And the funds are, once again, on the borderline. Eh, normal. Okay. So, let's wait on Mr. Alden. Because should be okay there. We keep him on the seduction rate. Alright, so what's this doing? I wait word. Temptation. There's a glimmering. Mm, do 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 about the dread though we might be able to lose it if we put it into a painting which we can do now although it's going to be a little short on the funding to do so and it's going to be yeah, a race of um nanoseconds here see if i can actually pull it off by freezing just at the moment the literal tenth of a moment that i am done with the job and three two one Yes, I cheated slightly by doing it multiple times. All right, so we have another fund, which is good. Two vitality, which we can combine together to create a vitality lesson learned. Good our mind, the fleeting remnants, reminiscent. Now, in order to prevent this, what we should do, let's take the dread. No, wait, wait, let's first of all, we put in what we want. Now, I'm not going to put in the mystique because we'd want it to burn out. So what we will do, you know... Let's just discuss our dread with great passion, shall we? Might gain another one. But it will all over keep us from doing so now. Minion has returned. They found a particular temptation to which our annoyance to come readily at the small cost of utter destruction of the reputation. So good girl. First opportunity. The annoyance is now gone. The man named Old is gone. I may find matters easier when I return to work. And you notice there's no timer. I can go into work anytime now, which basically means that we've freed up cash, which is good. Which is very good. Alright, so. That happened. Now, of course, we can eventually increase this, but for the moment, it may serve our needs to be able to keep a lower profile. In the meantime, what we should be doing, or we should be start organizing here, we should be trying to find the rest of our peeps, you know? Because if we have... Well, I don't know what's going to happen here, but Dread Trap's going to burst, which we should probably put this under normal, and then everything gets kind of crazy. Uh-oh. Pulled it out too soon. Oh, well. You know what? We should... Here, take the glimmering. Another mood piece will be fine. All right, so we have the funds burning out here. We also have... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to unfreeze this, unfortunately. There's too much going on at this one time. We'll take the secret here. Put that there. We still have this going through. It takes a while to combine lore like that. Meanwhile... Since we're not really doing anything else with it, might as well dream. Why? Well, ooh, I can't actually, because I don't have any passion. Silly me, we're going to be doing a random dream. Oh, my passion has been kicking up my painting. I'm just going to have nightmares now. It's okay, the very worst we get is a, is a dread, but hey, that's not a bad thing, is it? 
Two dread. Oof, that would be bad this far in, actually. I mean, it's this soon in. But we can we can work with this. Might be able to find a contentment if we're really lucky with the painting. That would be good, actually. That would give us a free opportunity to get rid of the dread card. Now, let's see. Meanwhile, one of the things is that once we get rid of the Tent of Evidence, we may start trying to hire a hitman or such for taking out the nuns. Yes, we will be killing nuns at some point. Probably. After all, we are the bad guys. Okay, the Fruit of Truth, and that will go into trying to find the next vault. And I'll stick these two while we've got them here. Make a lesson learned. At least links that last longer. What we got here, anyways? Utter focus. All right, cool. We might get that contentment card. Might get lucky with that. And no, because we would have grabbed. No, it hasn't chance to grab it yet. All right, so there's the contentment card. We did get actually very lucky. So we have three glimmering, which is interesting. A lot of influence. Another mystique here is, of course, gonna work for and against us, as long as we don't get an actual notoriety card. And meanwhile, yeah. This is completely at our discretion, which also means that we're probably going to be able to start stacking up cash to get whatever books we want. Now, meanwhile, let's uh, check out jobs. Really? Well, the news crackles, the, the office crackles with the news of Alden's unexpected absence. A scrawny, nervous fellow from the fourth floor has been appointed to supervise the record's temporary. Unlike Alden, he does not interfere with my work. He should not. Very unfortunate what happened to Alden. But then... These are our dark times we are living in. Let's see. Anyways, let's see what we got. Next one up. Ooh, another contentment, which is good. Yep, the, con the dread trap has grabbed our contentment, so therefore we are going to be utterly fine, even if we do happen to get a bad draw the dream. Okay, the waters of the wood were cold deep, never clear. Wrote memory alone not to be there. I must engage my passion. Now I drift into other dreams. Tonight I will dream of absolutely nothing. Profound and restful sleep. I think we might actually get a um, contentment card from that. Am I right? Nope, vitality. Don't have nothing at all. I woke and stretch and rose without haste. Quite, yeah, sometimes just nothing happening can be the best, especially in times like this. All right, so what are we doing now? First moment is that we can continue to dream, but if we're lucky, we should be able to... Yeah, we, don't, we, have the pa we don't have the passion because they're all exhausted at the moment. We don't have a... Yeah, have to just leave it empty for now, I guess. We don't want to, have to do random pulls for the uh, dream cards. Okay, so this is going to be a mentor, by the way, since we've got the reason, not the passion card. We're looking for our targets, and yeah. So, one of the things to consider is that I can, right now, if I wanted to, because I have the two points of heart lore. Ooh, Lockwood Fen, which is always good. The Lockwood Fen, do I have any of the personnel required for that? Because we are, of course, running a little that we need Forge, sir. We've got that, but we don't have a lot of it. And Edge Grailer Moth. Hmm. I think we're kind of weak on that. So we'll hold that up at back for now. Let's see what we need to get. Exercise the body. There we go. Vitality lesson learned. So while we're here, get the second one. Again, we could start slowly approaching the point where we can get. In addition, let's see, should we go about town? Might want to consider going about town and grabbing Cat to do so. All right, she'll have her search the city, so we might get a minion, a minion capable of tackling that congregation again, because by the time she's done getting it, the tentative evidence will be eliminated. Make this work for you. Therefore, putting us right back onto the... Oh, the Jedi just overlook us. They are blind as they are incompetent. Yep, this is a minion. Who is it? Shifty Woman is only a three, which is definitely not worth pursuing. Hey, we need the A team here. We don't need, you know. Okay, so we get the position back and we have two funds. Now, the thing is, is that we can, of course, pursue this, of course, every 90 seconds. So that means that we can, if we want to, slide in other things like the painting. If I wanted to do a painting right now, I could. No reason to, since I don't have dread coming up, hopefully. Yeah, we should be fine. All right, so. Diligence. Now, extra effort. If I pop in that, we go up the chat ladder. Let's see what happens. This is devotion. We do not want to put passion here. I mean... Well, sorry. This is reason. Ooh, two reason in. 
Extra hours is demanding but better paid. Let's move up the corporate ladder. To embrace the true evil. Alright, so, take a quick look. Okay, now we're going to have the Season of Suspicion. By that time, we will have one notoriety and... Sorry, one um, mystique remaining. Possibly two with this. Yep, down to the shut. I'll put here, here. Pause for a moment, since I got too many things coming out at once. And two fleeing, I believe. Yep, there we go. Two Mystique in play, which means that he definitely will not get back to the end of evidence before it decays. It's only 26 seconds. Yeah, it'll, it'll be gone before he gets here. So I'm free to pursue a single bad thing if I'm uh, under risk. So what should I do? Probably. Let's just keep our cult going. Now I may need this in the future. So let's speak of esoteric matters. Draw his attention to the what we don't, what we're tentatively not going to be showing him. Let's show him what we want to see, us pursuing strange friendships and reading habits, enough to make notes upon some silly fire, but not enough to in endanger our future plans. And of course, we now don't even need the gravy train when it comes to the uh, patrons if we really wanted to. We could definitely keep going with the job indefinitely. And of course, that will produce the cash that we're going to need. Four. All right, cool. Actually, we could probably just keep that going. Not a huge thing right now. And boom. Let's get that level four health. If we've got nothing to study, we might as well just exercise. Start a YouTube channel about, you know, eating right. Hopefully Slenderman doesn't show up. And if you get that reference, I'll be impressed. All right. So, cat, keep looking. He's going to burn off our mystique rather quickly, and boom, extra hours. Younger Glover is taking me out for lunch at the club. I am more, more of the things I do more carefully in a grid turn. He'll give me a little more of the money I earned for his father. Ah, uh, capitalism, which you are you are in part, uh, you, you essentially try to earn your own money back. Uh, hmm. All right, so let's get that back under that. 59 seconds. I suppose theoretically I could rise higher if someone died. If you don't attend this job regularly, you might suffer demotion. Now, from this point forward, we're back on the train where I have to keep going at senior position, but we can also attempt to eliminate the Glover and make us a yeah, part of the board. The problem is if I do that, I have to be very careful and never um, have a notoriety card at the same time, or I could end up being fired at the bottom of severance. Now, by that point, it probably won't matter because I'll have the gravy train up and running, but, you know, let's keep this going for now. But if we actually, if we wait five seconds there, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to slide in. Boom. Just he's on our mystique. That's going to be a bit. Might as well keep it going. Now, of course, acceptance. If I put a passion card there, I get the minor victory, as you might say it, which is basically giving into our day job. So, you know, if you really were kind of into just working an office shift, I've already shown that ending, by the way, in, in, uh, in a uh, bonus episode that was voted for. Okay, cat. All right. It's okay. It's okay, cat. We just need you to find that. Person to find a professional hitman or a or a con woman, all right. Stop wandering around looking at buildings in moonlight. All right, so the funds already, like I said, you might want to consider doing the auction house at this point. All right, so again, so you might as well just stop this because apparently we're not going to be getting anywhere near there. We might as well concentrate on trying to get the level two or higher, any higher floors, which means we can do the auction house now. If we don't sell anything. Just see what's forbidding in five seconds. By that point, we should hopefully want to know whether we want it. Because just the color alone should tell us what we're looking for. You check here. War of the Road censored. Now, if that color, by the way, and I will confirm it, means that we will be... That will simply be another level two secret histories. Because remember, they are all color-coded. Send so that purple. If it's this shade of purple... Let's check a list of books for the roads... Confirming. Oh no, I forgot that the is considered to be... Yeah, okay. The censored version... Uns yeah, this one is just a level 4. So again, if I'd gone in through the bookstore, I would have had no choice but to buy this. In the meantime, I can just set it flush, because Secret Histories is not that difficult a thing to go. So I'm not even bothering dreaming right now, because I have more vaults I know what to do with. And trying to combine vaults at this level, I mean, uh, 2 and 2 and 2 and 2, to try to get uh, a 6 step, we're not doing that. 
Better if we just let things play out and get to the higher volts by illicit means. Like I said, this is us being more furtive, more careful this time around. All right, so now we have another vitality lesson learned. And again, since we have nothing to study, we might as well just keep the exercise going. Like I said, if we take the level two lore, we can get ourselves to level four. Not uh, four R strength. Hopefully, we'll get a forge lore by that point, which would be better. Alright, so sickness card. Hey, we're gonna have a vitality. You can see that coming. And a dread trap. So as long as we keep the dread uh, from uh, X from uh, coming up, we should be fine. So let's see. Reason goes here. Again, yes, I'm trying that challenge where I'm trying to uh pause less. Alright, the auction's over. Managed to pull an air edition and we've got Neville. Alright, so let's get Neville initiated. Ooh, whoops. All right, so I definitely have to pause at this point. I'm trying to do too much at once. All right, Neville, I believe you are one of my summoners. Hey, uh, yep, never pauses before he speaks, flinches easily, the last one never thinks you made a joke. Of course, that means that he's probably neurodivergent in this time period that it funds three. That's great. All right, and we have another 57 seconds. If I wanted to do something else, I could, but I don't really want to. Might also just become rich. Or we can, obviously, take Renata. Where is she? Have I done something with her? Oh, there she is. And we can try to seduce him and become one of the board. I mean, why not? Let's see what happens. Who knows if this will succeed. I will try to assist. We're going to try to ruin the Glover Jr. and take his position on the board. And of course, that means we'll have to watch the notoriety, but we can probably do that. And like I said, we are playing Shiv. Shiv. Shiv, I think. And yeah, why not? In the meantime, since we need money anyways, and of course the vitality, if we're going to keep doing what we're doing, I was into the arms of steel. <sighs> Deep breath. Anyways, so, and of course, since we've got six funds, that allows us to see what we could be getting at the auction house. Again, we can just get the books we want, not to pay for everything, which would be an improvement. Now, this means that we have... This is a translation from Greek, which will allow us to get this right here, the Book of the Centerpiece. I mean, Greek card is good. I mean, I can get that. I think most Chambleshet, yeah, is the Greek scholar. But yeah, we could just... Let's bid one on the Greek. Hat. All right, and see if we can get it. I mean, odds are we will. It's something that inexpensive, but you never know. We might end up spending two or three, which is the disadvantage of doing this. Once we have that, we can get the Centipede book done, which I believe is a higher level vault. And if we can get Sulachana before that point, then excellent. Oh yeah, I forgot. We're going to be going a bit here. All right, air additions up and running. All right, we'll keep the sleep verb going, or dream verb. All right, going for a bit. Okay, there we go. Vitality. Excellent. We'll have to do it again, of course, if we're going to keep one vitality open for purposes of curing ourselves. Uh, always something. And that should be that. So yeah, we'll see if we'll see if we can do it twice in a row here. Okay, dread trap active. Next one will be of course the cops. But cops are still going. And we got the Greek car. Good. Once we once we read this we'll have that going. We don't wanna spend too much with the funds, but at least we'll be able to get one of our language cards, which are absolutely essential for that. And in the meantime, and that. Hey, cool. We got another Vitality out of that, too, which is kind of awesome. All right. So, yeah, Vitality. We're overflowing in Vitality again. We are just too pumped. Too, we are just pumped. But we won't have our study card up and running anytime soon, because we're going to be using that to learn Greek. Anyway, so what should we do here? Buy funds. Yeah, there's no reason not to keep the fund that's going. There you go. Boom. So yeah. Okay. So with the Greek uh, language and that particular book done, we should be fine. It also reduces the need for us to uh, tackle the this congregation right away. We can see what we can get with what, with the characters that we start getting. So especially if I can get the two points of lore for Lantern, we should be fine. Okay, another Vitality in play. And we'll be getting, yeah, we're gonna be getting him indefinitely. We can just keep searching and searching and searching until we run out of 
helped us to get. Alright, cool. The vitality for that, and we can take our older vitality and throw it together. Oh, wait, no. Let's use this time to learn Greek. Alright, so they'll give us the Greek language card, which is a good start for our intrepid endeavor. And let's see if we did this. Offering invitation is an indie return with disappointing news. Oh, well. I mean, it's not going to affect us too badly. We'll put it out. We'll uh, go out to another, um, do another thing. Go out, pretend that everything's fine, and just end up doing our job. You know, biding our time until we, until we are ready to declare ourselves the Jedi. Anyways, five funds. I think that's enough to risk seeing if we want another book. Put the health here. And yeah, let's go to work. Not nearly as bad this time around. Cool my hand to the correct shapes to begin. Yeah, it's one of the things that you notice that you will declare actually magic within normal acts. Like the act of working is in fact a form of worship. Okay, what do we got here? Skeleton songs. This is actually something I want. Let's see, it's a bit on it before the time runs out. Again, like I said, I'm trying to avoid pausing is kind of a challenge with the health here for when we did that. And the vitality goes there. So we could go into the dream realm, but again, I'm kind of waiting till we get the better door at this point, which required either four winter, four knock, or four light. Enter. Okay, so yeah, so now we have the skeleton keys. Why do I want the skeleton keys? First of all, they're they're because they're going to give us Grail. Two points of Grail and uh, Nalar lore plus enough of the vitalities will allow me to get to the... Um, no, it's the Grail. Sorry, the Grail one, silly me, is for Passion. We should we be able to get Passion up to the next level using Grail as two points of Grail lore, which will allow us to get the magic paintings if we want to do an eight-point tool, like, for example, an eight-point light tool, lantern tool, which will allow us to get all of our initiates up to level five immediately just by staring at a magical painting. It, it's kind of weird, but, you know, magic is a thing that works symbolically. So... And paintings, as well as other forms of art, are a symbol. This makes you wonder sometimes when people perform or magicians create art, what is their purpose in doing so? And is it a purpose that you want to be part of? I right, still have to initiate Neville, though, however. I'm really Okay, Scholar Greek, good. Alright, so in the meantime. No, we have to worry about vitality, really. Okay, so what do we got here? Red shouldn't be a problem. What we should do, however, is we should probably study that. Go for it. All right, so I'm going to pause because books are worth their, their, uh, their fluff. In Arabella's introduction, she explains the book was meant to be illustrated, but the Suppression Bureau would not permit it. She hints that the illustrations exist somewhere. This book is dedicated to Sir Possible the Red Cup, which is the Grail, which basically means that it was pornographic. Because Grail as desire in this society is often equated with sexuality, but sexuality only for the reason that sexuality is forbidden in this culture. I mean, if it was eating, for example, if, eating was, if excessive eating was that, it would be books on people of gorging themselves at this point but it actually isn't it's essentially whatever society represses that would be of course what the grail would provide temptation because if you could get it it's not a temptation boom definitely want on the white because that could give us the white door i'm kind of hoping it works that way but anyways again we use the auction house to get to be able to be more specialized in our in our uh, doing but yes work as magic because work is a form of ritual that will enrich somebody empower somebody else at your expense so it is form a black magic so capitalism as well not black magic black magic is cooler than that i know what you call it like evil light magic same way we're doing with lantern here so it just makes explain why it is lantern based but yes it's a depowering it transfers power from the individual oh hello uh victor i think you're edge right Hmm. If I ever do want to get rid of these mystique, just have to do a mass initiation. It will burn off the mystique. Why not generate any more? Which is probably what I'm going to be working with at this point. Since I'm this, yeah, let's go speak of esoteric matters, and we will allow. Let's see. Uh, dread trap is down, uh, and a dread coming up. Well, I kind of know what we're doing at one point. 
So we'll try to use Renata's seduction ability at the same time. Now on the white is in, okay, Solomon Husher writes about allegorically of winter in the long sun dumerance with the sun called, called sunset at noon. All right, study the skeleton songs. We've got two points of grail lore, which means we can start working on our level four. Pausing for a second because I want to make plans here, but on closer examination, the work seems to be a theory of aesthetics, or perhaps a set of warnings of the dangers of painting. A little weird, but yeah, considering that we make magical devices, start. Come on. We should be able to do that and possibly get, if this is a four point lore, we'd be able to get to the white door, which means we can start diving back in. Now, remember, we'll be a little more dangerous when we dive back in because we will be essentially creating the scenario in which um, actually the dread trap will be gone before it's about the red sign up for it. The dread coming off the restlessness. Okay, so we should be fine there. So, yeah, hopefully we can get the. Uh, next section. All right, so I always in the last to leave even after Oldest Glover. Okay, so yeah, essentially they're still draining us, but we're getting a better, we're getting better quality for our money. So again, here we are at the moment where we can continue our slow advance towards the end. But anyways, yeah, we could, if you wanted to, for example, try to seduction again, but this is going to be over 60 seconds, 25 plus 60 seconds again to get another person. So we might as well just keep gravy train going. Come on. All right, and in the meantime, again, we'll begin our targeted search for additional books. And we will be getting, say, because you can just hold the window up while you're doing this. Boom, Humors of a Gentleman will be able to get us the next level of lore that we want to be able to start doing mass initiations without having to risk create the painting. So we should be fine in that regard. Absolutely and totally fine. Okay, the vitalities are starting to disappear, but again, we're doing more book studies. We're probably losing some muscle fatigue. I mean, I so. I mean we all know Shiv didn't really go in for the uh, big muscles because, you know, well, he got, he had, um, what's his name? Maul, Darth Maul, to handle that stuff for him. And he could just shoot people with lightning. And if you can shoot people with lightning, you don't really have to worry too much about how much you can, whether you can bench press them. All right, so what do we got here? Yep. Oh, somebody wants to more for it. Again, this is the downside of doing it this way, is the fact. Okay, health again, so we will need to produce another vitality. All right, so there's the restlessness here. Four point, two points. Oh, well, Husher speaks distractedly of his hatred of colors and the yearning for death. He hints at the great work he has envisioned or begun, or the palest of paintings will enthrall the world. This is referring to the, deal, the Ghoul DLC, always known as the Medium DLC. He returns again and again to give certain compelling phrases to give the secret words of winter. This basically is somebody who's trying to become the Ghoul and probably not doing that well. So he only got two points of lore in that particular scenario. But again, it's not the four we were hoping for, but again, we should get this one. And that four light will be sufficient for us to get to the next level of the Mansis to open that door, which will be awesome in its own way. In the meantime, we have one, yeah, we have more than one vitality. That vitality will be enough to handle it together. And should we begin? Yeah, let's begin translating this since we've got it. Oh, whoops, need the Greek card first. Been a little while, forgot the order. Should get us a decent vault. All right, let's go. Uh, deep breath. But yeah, once we've got to this point with the employment, we do. it is annoying to keep it going, but it is going to allow us to be able to, uh, to yeah, allow us to be able to handle it through, like I said, the targeted purchases of these books. All right, so we finally got this book. Humors of Gentlemen, Samuel Savage's satirical comedy on the intrigues of his ailing but cunning John Son, his mistress Marvel and his lover Leo, and the upstart Corvino. Corvino, hey, probably a complete coincidence, but uh, I gotta say, that uh, uh i love dishonored i really do it's it's one of those games which is so great that i want more of it than what i actually have and i know it's kind of a strange paradox that way same way with lord of the rings although i think with all of the freaking media i've been getting from lord of the rings lately i'm done for a very long time on that regard i really am uh, let's see what we've got and get back to work All right, so what do we got? Bingo, and traveling at night, that color should give us a level two lore and winter, which allow us to get that gate open. Okay, we've got my fave rose. Thickness is creating itself, time is passing, but we have a contentment next, which should basically means we're gonna be okay with the restlessness. We'll just drop the restlessness, we'll drop the dread it produces off. There's the mystique. 
Like I said, if he starts looking and we need to lose people, we'll start doing mass initiations. But we should be able to, one way or the other, be able to get the mass initiations to work. But Humors of a Gentleman would come next. And let's see, Traveling at Night definitely should get that one so we can upgrade our Winter Lore. <sighs> then we can get better vaults. And we can start getting people to level 5, and we can start actually getting those vaults done. Now the question is whether we're going to be waiting for the Mystique to end, trying to get rid of it in some fashion, or just do our smokescreen abilities. Now we might, I think I'll do smokescreen. Simply because it's going to allow, give us a better chance of getting our vaults done in a more timely fashion. You don't want me continuously just watching me work. <laughs> Alright. In the mid-1960s, one Madame Yee presented an entertainment base claimed on this book. That's great, but what we really need really really want all right by the end of the first act mevelin has revealed the secret door in the walls of the house to leo carvino is taking his consuming words these are two references to the worms which are a force that are devouring the timeline since the timeline has been broken and are the most dangerous thing in the game and the house of course is the man sits so let's get that little what's the little lore, bit of lore that we have available in that because a lot of times what you're going to find in these sort of things is the fact let's see about that that people do allow you people will put mystical lore in completely innocuous works either on purpose to try to transmit it underneath the um censor's nose as it were or simply because they don't realize they're passing on information they've got from some interesting source previously hmm. that's how that works anyways let's see the funds would be fine for the moment so we could just start looking for another book and then we can see how that goes what we got? Mm, Latin. But another point in. Okay. A little bit too much I'm splitting here. So we'll do a pause. Put that into place. And that's 60 seconds. The affliction will be lasting for longer than that. So we should be able to get rid of the dread first. And because we're going to generate another one. And in addition, let's get that book if we can. Yeah, all cylinders are firing, so that means we go full speed until we do not. Alright, so. We can keep going with the work. And we will. And boom, there you go. Cylinders firing, all go forward, full speed. Just so that we have an opportunity to move faster. And here we are. Humors of a Gentleman, the play is scabrous and occasionally hilarious. The characters are contrary and capricious. Most of them are resonant lines, maybe we form the power in plain sight. See what I was talking about? Now, we need an air addition to combine these two, which means that we either throw our reason in here, doing our studies, and we will continue at full throttle. It's normal, since this one's offline. And again, we will consider this for our lore. See, the thing is, we don't, don't need to bury ourselves into books, so we just need the ones that we need. And two point, and additional points of uh, Grail lore will be good for certain things. Remember, we still need the ones with the formulae that allow us to cast spells. We, again, the probably better off getting them from the... Uh, oh, let's see what we've got. Fascination, not really an issue, but we will have a dread again shortly. But we're still going to have to do our affliction here. But what we will do, probably, since we've had the study verb too, too going for too long, is to simply actually take the other way out. Since funds are an issue, we'll just take medicine instead of our health. Uh, let's see, do we need anything for travel-wise? We could attempt to find assistance again. Tell you what. I need an air addition. There's a 10% chance you'll produce it if you search the city. So why not? Alright, cool. Pause. Too much to uh, take care of to allow it to go forward. Alright, so. You know what we're going to do? We're going to get ourselves a level 4 lore, which is going to unlock a lot of potential for us. All right, there's the air additions for when time is ready. And we will continue... Hmm, no, we can't. We might get fired, demoted if we uh, do that. So, man has us still within his grasp. We have, not ren uh, we have not been able to devote our time to destroying him as we should have. Okay, so... All right, so what do we got? 60 seconds. Who are you? Shifty woman is not sufficient to be able to give us what we want. A ridge. Cool. Completely forgotten who you are. I think you're in which one? We'll find out. Eventually. Alright, so continue our talking, probably. 
they were not combining winter lore, so hey, we can continue going that direction. And all are firing, so we'll go full speed until one of them is not, simply to move things around faster, since at least long I can keep talking. Alright, so, what do we got? Yep, okay, so we're going into the night, we'll have the erudition in no time flat. We have this coming up as Season of Dread, which means we definitely need to get rid of that Dread card. Alright. Helps back in play. Go to normal speed, since we've got one slot open. And it's now a Dread card, which means that we probably should spend the money now to get to party. Party like it's 1899. Which it's not, that was years ago. Alright, pass the knowledge test. That'll give us a level 4. We'll begin mass initiation to level 5 for all of our peeps. And that will produce, hopefully, uh, better results. Alright, cat, keep it up, would you? Put you at normal. Do this. Again, trying to see if we can get away with it without pausing. Money that way. And after that... You, my friend, are... Looking fellow, also not helpful. Sorry. Tincture of op opium. Let's put the dread in its place, shall we? Have ourselves a good night. And just got rid of it just in time. Excellent. Again, funds aren't the issue. Now it's just trying to make progress. So again, we will be able to do mass initiations and get to the next level of the Mansis by uh, when we get that level 4 lore. Because that will combine with the Noonstone to be able to use 8 points for initiation purposes, which is one of the reasons why Lantern in the Aspirant phase can be one of the easiest ones to do. Grail is the uh, Apostle one. Okay, so blinking the light. Good to know. Blinded by the light. Revved up like a deuce. Another... Never mind. Some of you got that reference. And I am ashamed. Alright, so... Yeah. Do we need to keep talking? Well, we might as well. Alright. Cat did not find anybody useful. Try again, Cat. Okay, so... Okay, going here. Okay, search the city. And this glimpse is a four-pointer. Pause. So this is when we start getting interesting. First, we're going to have the cop basically take care of our mystique. Because he'll essentially keep consuming it. Again, what I will do is I will shift over to mass initiation, which will take a while to, for, to get rid of him. So, the Jedi, as it were. Meanwhile, keep our job. As you know, it works for us. Yeah, it's when you get getting to the higher levels of capitalism, you start getting a little more comfortable with it, and you have to start asking yourself some hard questions. All right, so, meanwhile, there is a central discussion and similarities between Elapo's own dreams and that of the Emperor Elgarbalas. Now, if El El Garbalas, which, by the way, if you recall, is the guy who created the human sacrifice manacles we use as an eight-point winter tool, who unnopoly developed as a dupe or avatar of the sun in rags, the rat being the dead sun, who has not yet died and been reborn for the next age. The white is the west of the world in up your march, and the winter does not wait forever. That is correct. Winter will consume all things. All right, so. I don't know, an overlook place. Just going to be the streets. At this point, we can probably shift back to the auction house to see what we can get. All right, there you go. And see, boom. There we go. See, the thing is, like I said, I can do this at slower speed. Just let me know if this becomes boring to watch. Edge. We don't have any edge lore. Why not? See what we got. And where are we at? Hmm. But yes. The thing is, at this point, we could... Actually, yep, that's a good idea. Let's go to the way of the woods and get ourselves the next level. There's a house in the wood. I know something of that house enough to find my way to the light. That will bring us to, of course, okay, another companion, possible companion victory of crows. Again, yep, we're getting to the point where we start reading a lot. This one's already been translated, so we need the Latin at this point. Funds are sufficient so that we can keep going through here. Put the recent card back in. Again, too many things going on, so I will pause. Again, like I'm trying to minimize the pausing. Elgaris found his way to the White Door at last. Thankfully, speech can't pass the White Door, and honestly, Elbalus never had anything very interesting to say. I tried to follow his footsteps, but I never learned enough of the White. I suppose I'm thankful for that, but here's what I do know. Erudition and two points, which basically means that we can combine this if we choose to, which has its own issues. Okay, so because I put two points and two in, and I think we, erudition is what we need. What we need for combination, yep. Knowledge. So we should be fine. They, they even give us a solution here. When the 
Lore pops back out here. We will combine the two with using our study verb, which again would have gotten us to the white door as well, which is exactly what it's about because he didn't have enough, but he'd have two more points plus the means of doing so, so he can actually point you to it. A lot of the cult lore is like that. Somebody says, go in this direction. I didn't go that far, but I kind of know. Yes, forge is what we need so we can get to the next level of health or strength, actually. Okay. So yeah, at this point, we're kind of cruising because we managed to get Alden eliminated. Okay, so we will use put the reason here. This should all go over here. I mean, God, that's a lot there. And you go back to work. Keep us going. Keep us going. All right, pause for a second, obviously. Keep working. Meanwhile, Thexton, keep the study verb open. I'll have that back in a bit, I think. Then we will be able to combine the two with our addition. So, yeah. Things are going well enough that we should be able to have the level 4 winter lore, and then we can start getting an expedition done before the end of the episode, which would be good. Alright, so. Six letters of necessity. Warnings and confession of the cost of invisible arts addressed to the student of the 17th Army's Magus, Julian Cosley. Cosley, by the way, will be our enemy in the um, Apostle run for the Lantern. Guaranteed. And literally somebody... No, wait. No, Cosley's the winter one. Sorry, he's not guaranteed. There's a 10% chance we'll get Cosley instead of the... Iris, I think his name is. It's kind of weird, but... Alright. Okay, so, and boom. There we go. Pause. One second. Well, oh, hey, also gave us an error. Go give us a notoriety. I mean, a uh, mystique as well. There are hounds about the house and they're missing their traces. The rock called the Temple of the Wheel High is a church spire patched with black lichen and daubed with eye sands. I have round it and there ahead of me is the white door. The light of the house leaks through the edges. Okay, so we now have the white door, which is the level four. Now, since we don't have, yeah, we don't have anything to worry about that we have to sleep about, we can now access this one by using a health card. All right. My dreams, I know the path of the white door through the bounds. The dead is thronged with the dead. I need help to resist their chills. So yeah, basically burn that. Now I can approach the white door through the pounds. Now I can press my fingers on it. Feel its chill. Watch it swing open as it opens. My mouth closes. Tightens. Heads heels over like a lost deformity around me. The cobalt light of the mensis. So yeah, what this will mean, of course, is that we will start getting level four and, and level six um, secret histories and get the appropriate. Now, the thing is, of course, we need four seconds from now. We will get back our sexton secret, and then we can start producing the level four winter lore. Now, oh God, you again. Steak again, we begin the mass initiation. It's three point, we'll be able to do that, but two first things first, let's combine our winter lore. Play the ragged lore, as it's called. Meanwhile, let's get our initiations going. First thing, of course, is my gal. All right, so, Noonstone. And four points of lantern lore. By invoking lantern, my follower kneels, novice, and rises initiate. There we go. So it's going to be a lot of mass initiations that are going on. But we will be able to get rid of our Jedi investigator that way. <sighs> Let's see. I don't think we have anywhere that we need to travel at the moment. Oh, yeah. We've definitely got another cache for this, though. Might as well. See if we've got anything useful in the next run. Pull. All right. So sickness. We'll need a vitality soon. Let's see what we've got here. Hmm. That's got a... Uh, that's got a ritual in it. We can start using magic next episode for that. If we get that one, we will get that one. We have enough cash to get one. It costs us three total. But notice that we're actually spending slightly less cash and doing a straight run for the lure. So, okay, we've got all running. Let's see. Now, let's get to normal just because I'm going to have so much going on in a moment. All right, so let's see about this. Yep, and it contains in silver. This should be in Greek, by the way, so it should be able to deal with it. All right, go back to work. Oh, and of course, our initiation. We don't want an icy atmosphere, so let's go check out what Teresa has to say. Eh, well, subtle fracture. Clouds part, walls creak, old wounds ache. Okay, this is what to say. Last night, the great pavilion above the gray sprawled bounds, a woman who once called herself Teresa Gambler, sat on her gilt-fringed cushions and offered me a horn of dream wine. The wine is imaginary, she's claimed the cup is not. Navigate the Mansus, one must understand the distinction. Perhaps one day you'll join me in the pilgrimage, or I'll join you, so let me share a secret. She briefly tickled my ear. Yeah, Teresa, I think, is one of the major players in this game, despite the fact nobody really knows about it. Okay, so we have six points of uh, lore, six point influence, but now I can approach. Yep, okay. Health is fatigued, and thus we will move forward. That is in Greek, which means that we can get our first ritual going and be able to use magic. In the meantime, 
Uh, we'll be combining that lore, put things forward, and yeah, looks like we will be... I think we've got this going for a bit. So yeah, we've got stabilization at this point. We've got sufficient um, money being generated, so we're not going to starve to death. And we can actually, again, target our... Uh, Target our thing, so it means that next time around, like I said, I'm going to try to get a run in here, but we need to get rid of the cop first. All right, hang on for a second. Let's get the air addition in place. Okay, cool. Let's get the next initiation going. So Renara is now level five, so we should probably tell you what. You, oh, come on, give me a moment. And you, don't need lore, just need to start that. And boom. Okay, that's going to be an issue. Alright, so again, he's going to run out of uh, Mystique to, to uh, draw off of. And... Did I lose track? What? Oh, I got that one. So let's try it again. See what we get. And of course, we can... Let's see, if we don't, we don't have a Dread or Fast... Yeah, no, we have Dread Trap. We can get Dread from the uh, level 4 man the level four Mansus, so we do not want to risk that. Again, what do we got? Ooh, more white lore. Oh, what the heck? Throw it in. Okay, and so we continue our thoughts into the future. All right, so in the meantime, we've got Neville at level two. So let's do it again. Put him at level five by putting in the lore. Cool. Again, we'll get our peeps up and running in no time. At the same time, we will be ducking the police's attention, which is good. Uh, we'll need, however, to get the health. We got... Um, this going. I, uh, we will need to get a vitality, which I can do very quickly if I pay attention. Now, what I do, since this is 60 seconds, this is 45 seconds, you simply do this job while there is more than 45 seconds on the senior position at Glover and Glover. That will get us what we need. Okay, so traveling at night again, or, or meanwhile, we will probably want to get. Hey. All right, so, too much going on. Need to pause quickly. Okay, so, uh, Dread. But the Dread Trap will be closed by the time it rolls around. It should be fine. In the meantime, yeah. We, we could have just spent the one on this, but what can I say? We're spending it all on a more expensive but targeted way of getting books. So, what do we got? All right, yeah, we'll need the poetry because we definitely need that to upgrade our passion, which we can do now with the Grail Lore in our ex in our chamber. Pause for a moment. All right, ceremony level four. We have to start doing the visual thing here for lore, but which level is at where? Now, the thing is, what we could do is we can, yeah, let's get the Scholar Greek card going and what is contained in silver. We'll have our first spell, although we may not be able to use it quite yet, depending on whether or not we have the appropriate the appropriate tools, influences, or peeps. Let's see. And we should be able to switch out, get our job back just in time after taking a quick break at doing delivery work, I guess. DoorDash, let's call it that. We're doing DoorDash. Alright, Neville is currently at level 5 when it comes to knock. It's going to be exceptionally useful as that allows him to do major summonings. Meanwhile... If we get Victor and Rose up to level 5, we can then start going through some of the, the weaker vaults. So, let's get that up and running. Alright, so, in the meantime, you and you. Boom. Oak Lantern. Okay, so, yeah. Probably won't get it to this time around, but do, do note that I do plan on the first thing, grabbing when we have both of our edge people up to five, when it comes to abilities, we'll have a 90% chance of being able to get, being able to kill the nuns and kill the bodyguards here, get all of these books, and then start getting some serious lore at that point without having to go through the auction house. The auction house, the way we're doing it, is really, isn't actually that bad because like, again, make sure we don't lose the job. Again, it is allowing us to get what we want. Poetry has now been collected. And again, we still have over 10 funds, so we might as well just see what else we can get. Also, the police has nothing to do at this point. All right, so boom. What have we got? Ooh, that, yep. Yeah. Introduction to Histories is just going to be a Secret Histories book. We can let that one go by, which is the advantage, of course, of doing it this way. All right. You there. 
And boom. All right, so let's get Victor. He's at level two. Let's get him to level five. Maybe I should put this somewhere else. Easy to grab. Again, we'll get Rose up to the same level, and thus we'll be able to start tackling the two beginning issues. And we can start doing some serious vaults with our peeps. Okay, so again. All right, so let's talk about what's here. We translated on what's contained in silver. A dire beastry of the horrors we found in mirrors, which is actually a creature called the Edge here. No, I think. Is a recent edition of the third century text by Pomander. I don't know who Pomander is at the top of my head. I'd have to look it up to see. It's probably a character we know. A dire. Okay, so boom. Let's begin that one so we can have our first spell. And that will be set up at our beginning Sith cult. We'll be fine. We just. We will. We will be power to reckon with all right so yeah oops i didn't win the auction oh, i didn't want that one anyways yeah just keep track of things we do not want to let something important go by such as stum that would be really bad because stum can randomly poke up and again yep just another secret histories health's now back in place we are perfectly doing fine again I think we got things under control the question is do we need to get rid of you it really wouldn't hurt Hit it. Do, 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 No, I... Too bad I don't have level 6 lore. I could just use the influence there to start initiating people. Hell, maybe I will just do the first level initiation with them. That would be something. Okay, just hit it, dude. And... Let's see if all cylinders are going. Yeah, I don't want you. So we should be fine. Should be absolutely and totally fine. And pause. It's raining on us. Contentment's in play, so first of all, it's unpause enough for the restlessness to be able to be consumed. Excellent. Red in place. Contentment in place. That will take care of that problem. This problem. Commanders and West Canadian Silver. The virgins, maidens of the mirror for your orchids. Okay, that's of course the maids in the mirror. The behindlings, the edge. The Aver the Brododendrum. Cut flowers, even nature, should not be placed in it before promised bronze. These are the two entities that can come out of the mirrors. He's correct. And appendix schemes are right, which may be used to summon these entities, or the details are not make entirely clear. Mantis Glint gets us four. We should be able to get to level six lore, which will get us the next one. The White Man's Solar. The right recalls the loss of the, the loss of the white man who goes before the house that has no walls. Light before him and the shadow behind he must not see you, otherwise he will burn you. He's the Demiurge of this universe. The instrument of power was used to summon him to take his sacrifice, precious knowledge from the root of your thought. The assistant must speak the words and anchor your sanity to him when you trust. This is how you burn lore for this one, so it has to be really important for you to want to cast the spell, which we're not quite there yet, but it is our first one, just in case. Alright, and boom. Victor's at level 5. Yep, okay. So with Victor at level 5, we'll get Rose at level 5. The two These two will start collecting books from us over the dead bodies of our enemies, and we should be fine when we start get, get, getting seriously into our lore, but still haven't gotten a Latin card, unfortunately. Oh well. And where to tackle next? Yeah, not the most exciting episode, but we have gotten some serious progress here. Again, we are currently have the job setting up, and I can, with Renera at a 70% success rate, begin the process of becoming, of course, the actual power behind Glover and Glover. I did by destroying my dread rival. Oh boy. Anyways, and becoming as much money as I want at this point like I said because we have this we have this level of the job going and we have the auction house method we're using to be more picky about our stuff we can actually st decide which direction the lore we want to move into like for example now with the Mansus glimpse we can get to level six get into the start working our way towards the next door which of course will require us to be able to solve the riddle which means we have a lot more in six yeah you mean to see how this goes but next episode we'll start getting seriously into the expeditions to the vault we'll start getting some serious lore and we'll start to, um, moving towards the moving towards our eventual goal because we have a good chunk here we can produce an eight point tool the refligen once we get our passion up to the next level I mean, our imagination up to the next level, or we can find the actual tools itself. There's a mirror, it's a broken mirror, I believe, in Keglin's Scratch, or one of the four point lords. And from there, we produce the eight point tool, and we start again getting towards that precious 36 points we need to advance. But again, this has been a relatively good episode when it comes to that sort of thing. We've, like I said, slow, steady progress. Might not be, like I said, the most exciting, but. 
Hopefully it's showing a bit different techniques than I showed in the initial tips and tricks. Basically, if you want to be a bit more risky, like I said, if we had gotten really lucky here and managed to get that one done, I would probably be a half an episode ahead at this point. But setbacks occur. And we have to work around them and it doesn't matter. We'll set Victor and Rose on them and probably slaughter the whole lot. So, yeah. Catch us next time for when we start getting a little bloodthirsty on the Scythian path. Anyway, switch, by the way. Scythian, Scythian. Scythian's an actual Gnostic belief system. Just a nice coincidence. Anyways, this is Fantastic World saying for all from Lovecraft Country and, of course, called the Simulator Lantern Aspirant Run. And if you like this, like, share, subscribe, become a subscribe, check the notification button for your notification when I set another episode or my rare live episodes when I can get the bod with for it. Yeah, holidays have not been good for that. And, of course, if you really want to help, down below are links to the Gummer Payment Platform, become a supporter, access to additional material, and um, sponsor additional material for this channel. We'll be catching up with the bonus episodes just quickly, hopefully, because we didn't manage to get them to holiday seasons, push them to the beginning of January. But, hey, January's boring, so I'll give you a whole bunch of episodes, all right? So I will see you next time. Bye. I'd like to thank my Acolyte Level supporters, whose contributions help this channel grow and hastens the inevitable digital apocalypse and rise to the Dark Lords of content and data.